Hello, this is Solo Tunis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an air refueling using the DCS F-16 Viper. Since this jet has a low fuel capacity, even with three drop tanks, you'll find yourself a need to make this task in order to continue your mission. So, let's get started. First, we need to locate our tanker. To do so, we have to set up our tank can by pressing TACAN slash ILS button on the ICP. As you can see here, this is our ILS page and this is our TACAN page. Now, we double right on the DC switch until we see TACAN air-to-air -air transmit receive. Now we set the ZAR channel for our tanker, which is 20 in this case. If the TACAN signal allows you, you can turn it off with the TACAN knob. If you made the mistake while pressing the TACAN channel, you can reset it by pressing the recall button. To switch between X and Y band, just press the miscellaneous button on the ICP, then press enter. Now we go to our HSI, we press the mode button until we see TACAN in the mode field. As you can see here, this, is, this arrow is pointing towards our tanker, and this is the range for our Tekken station. To make contact with our tanker, we need to set up our comms by pressing COM1 on the ICP. Then we select the desired frequency for our tanker. Then we open our UHF menu by pressing right ALT on T-slash. Then you select our tanker and you press intent to refuel. Texaco, 1-1, one, one. in field, 1-1, one, one. request rejoin. In field, 1-1, one, one. Texaco, 1-1, one, one. proceed to pre-contact at 7,000, at 3-0-0. So his altitude is 7,000 meters and his speed is 300 knots. Before approaching the tanker, we need to set up few things which include master arm off, Because let's face it, after a few failed attempts, you will lose your temper and you'll be like this. And then laser arm to off and our radar to silent. So we don't cook the tanker screw with our radiation. And then we set our air refuel switch to open. You will notice the air stage light is set to ready. The only fuel reference is away from our DAD and HUD. So for that, we press list on our ICP. Then we open our bingo page by pressing 2. As you can see here, this is our bingo value. And this is our the current amount of fuel that we have. To display the information on our DED page on our HUD, we just go to this switch and set it to DED data position. When approaching the tanker, it's better to be below it and from the left side, so you can judge your closure rate while avoiding getting hit by its weight turbulence. If your flight and you are in critical fuel state, just take a couple of thousand pounds of fuel and disconnect, let the others refuel to avoid them running out while you are filling up. Since we don't have canopy bout used as a reference, we can either overlay our tanker's engines on top of each other, or we put the red light under the tanker's exit door and try to maintain that position to know the exact speed of the tanker. Trim your aircraft if needed. Whenever you feel ready, just go behind the boom and report ready pre-contact. Ready pre-contact. Clear contact. The key here is to make small inputs, be gentle 
Accelerate few nodes past the boom from the left and use the center line as a reference to be perfectly centered. There is no optimal position here. As you approach, you will notice the pilot director lights, so let's take a closer look at them. These lights will represent commands to guide you through the correct position. On the left, we have our height. If the light moves towards D, you need to go down. If the light moves towards you, you need to go up. On the right, we have our position. If the light moves towards A, go aft. And if it moves towards F, go forward. The boomer will announce contact and you are taking fuel when the connection is established. Don't look back at the boom. It's the boom operator's job to keep it connected. Just use the pilot direct light to guide you. Correct one axis at a time. And again, be gentle, just small inputs. Don't be rough or you lose connection. Whenever you feel unsafe, throttle down and gently descend to avoid colliding with the tanker. Remember, safety first. The problem with DCS tankers, they don't warn us when they bank. So quickly roll and apply a little bit of nose up and throttle to compensate for the roll. Your new horizon now become the tanker. If you can't maintain connection, just back off, restabilize your aircraft and go for it again. The first thing here is safety. Transfer complete. Disconnect. Once you finish refueling, gently throttle down and descend. Make sure the IR switch is set to close position. Watch your surroundings before joining the right side of the tanker so you don't collide with your wingman. Air terror refueling is a very difficult task to do, yet it's so important. I advise you to fly in close formation with the tanker and get used to it without adding more pressure before making the air refueling. Don't be angry or stressed if you failed. Just relax and have another go and be gentle with your inputs. Wish you good luck. Stay safe until next time.